Kentucky. We are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis, and we whipping are whipping up something. We are whipping <laughs> up something good. It smells great too. Um, what do we got? What do you What are you having me do here? So all week we're talking about some healthy, unique, creative ways that we can send our kids to school with nutrient packed lunches nice. and we can feel like we can pat ourselves on the back as moms right yes. <laughs> it's all Take about time. us really yeah, it's not really about is. them <laughs> <laughs> so um we are making today um basically like a play on a burrito bowl okay you know and i think kids love chipotle first of all um and yep. burrito bowls are easy to make again and we're always looking for ways that we can make these things ahead of time the day before pull them out of the fridge send them on their way and mm -hmm. they are good to go yeah. right yeah so i pre-cooked some rice uh some basmati rice um just white rice okay and um you know had that nice and soft i'm just going to season that with a little bit of salt and pepper mm -hmm. and then add in some cilantro so you've got some cilantro rice ready to go okay and you can add just a little bit of olive oil to kind of uh, loosen that up a little bit after you've cooked it because sometimes it gets a little sticky okay um just a little bit that's of olive a, oil that's a little trick then huh yeah a little olive oil in there and it's good to go so good. salt pepper now i wanted to talk about a few things um i've got some chicken that we're going to add into this burrito bowl but if you wanted to go vegetarian i have a new protein that i am just madly in love with really and that is hemp hearts I've and hemp hearts are shelled hemp seeds, and okay. I've been studying these, and I just recently did a cook-off with them, and one, of course. Nice. But, but um, this is a perfect protein. Okay. So hemp, what do you mean by a perfect protein? So hemp hearts are have all the amino acids in them. Okay. They also are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids as okay. well. But when you look at the macros of these, like a quarter cup of hemp hearts has 14, 11 to 14 grams of protein, yeah. as well as fat. So it's got a good source of protein and fat, and it's low carb. Okay. And it has all the amino acids in it as well. Very nice. And it's gluten free. All right. So I could go on and on, yeah, but it's really awesome. a fantastic source of protein. Okay. So what we can do is we can add a little bit of this into the rice. And I've got a big thing of olive oil down there below you. Is it so. crunchy? Is it? It's uh, not. It's soft. It actually will soak up a lot of the flavor. It doesn't, if anything, it's just going to add a slight bit of like nuttiness uh -huh. to the rice. Okay. So the kids really aren't going to notice. Not at all. And so if you're trying to sneak some protein in, this is a great way, and especially mixed in there with that rice. I mean, you can't even see it at this point. And what is it called again? Hemp, hemp hearts, hearts mm -hmm. okay, which is just shelled hemp seeds, and you can find them at a lot of different places now. I believe Trader Joe's. I know um, that Whole Foods would have them as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, an excellent, nice. excellent source of protein. So I'll move on from that. We're going to take the rice and put it in our bowl, and then we're just going to start to build it from there. Okay. So I've got a little rice in the hemp hearts with cilantro, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. So we can take a little black beans. Right? And these are just right out of the can? Yeah, you just right out of the okay. can, drained, rinsed. Ready to go. Some okay. avocado. We sauteed off some peppers and onions, so yep. I'll take a little bit of that. There you go. Yummy, this looks fantastic. Right, you can make one for you and yeah. one for your kid, right? <laughs> I want um, some. And then we've got maybe, say, some tomatoes. If, you, if your kid likes tomatoes, you could do that. You um. could go with hard-boiled egg. In this case, I did a little chicken. Now, uh, my preference would be the rotisserie chicken out of the oven uh -huh. um, or out of the, you know, grocery store, one of those rotisserie chickens that you could kind of pull apart. Yeah. But if you didn't have that option, you could go with canned chicken, which is what we have here. Um, and I just took a little bit of Cajun seasoning and some turmeric, which gives it kind of that nice color. Nice. And also adds some additional uh, nutrient value with that fresh raw turmeric. Mm -hmm. So there's your burrito bowl, ready to go. And then, you know, we talked about that dairy-free ranch. Yes. Um, you could add some of that, or I've got a little chipotle mayonnaise that they could mix and they could add it together. And you talk about like oh. a super nutrient-dense yes. packed lunch. Done and done. Awesome. Right? I love it. So I had one other um, that I was thinking about, and I'll just kind of go through it, but those uh, living lettuce leaves, yes. we've got a little bit of that working. Uh -huh. I did some garbanzo beans, and I thought you could take the garbanzo beans with some olives, maybe some tomatoes, uh -huh. and some cranberries, right? Yeah. So we got a little bit of the fruit, the protein from the beans, 
uh, good fats from the olives. Oh, and, and then cranberries. We, yeah, and cranberries. And then we could season this up with, say, some mint, some parsley, maybe some turmeric, and some lemon juice. Yeah. And just have this in a bowl, and then they can make themselves their own little lettuce cups. Little lettuce wrap type yeah. cups. Yeah. Oh, how cute is that? That is awesome. And healthy and the whole bit. You got it. Well, for this recipe and many other recipes, go to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Make sure you go to the recipes tab, or you can head over to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com. We will be right back right after this short break.